Hey GED students, let's learn some more about how to use our TI 30 XS multi view for various functions here. One of the very nice things that your calculator will do is exponents. It will do exponents, but only if you know how to type them in. So take a look at question four here. It asked me to square 92. So let's go take a look. I'm going to pull up my little calculator here. Now I've got the on-screen version of the TI. Works just the same as the handheld version, which I, I have that one too. I've got TIs everywhere. But um, <laughs> I highly suggest that you do pick up one of these to figure out how to use it before test day. But this is the on-screen version you'll have during test day. To do that, all you need to do is type 92 into your calculator. And there's the lovely little X squared button right there. And it will square it for you. You don't even have to. Uh, know what it means to square. Go ahead, press enter, and we see that is 8,464. So coming back to my quiz, 8,464. Now, students often struggle with the other exponents, though. What do I do to get a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, or even higher power? So let's go back and try. And now to do 5 to the 6th power, again, you're going to put in your base number. This, In this case, it's 5, the number with the feet on the floor. OK, that's the base. And then to put in any exponent other than 2, you're going to need the little caret button here. So I push the caret button. If I'm in math print mode, it's going to look like this with the little floating six up here. So I pressed carrot and then the six and it will give me the answer 15,625. Now I do just want to flip modes into classic mode to show you even if you're in classic mode it might look a little funny but it'll give you the same answer. So arrowing down to classic mode and selecting enter. Again this is not necessary. I just want to show you guys something. If I do it here, it looks different even though it's the same problem. If I were to do 5 to the 6th power when I was in classic mode, when I press the carrot, it'd look a little different. It'd just show me a carrot. You wouldn't see that floating 6 in the sky, uh, but it does still give you the exact same answer. So uh, no worries about that. If you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.